Nicole, thank you very much. Well, she doesn't mind if you call her the Texas Farm Girl. Rebecca Crownover from right here in the Panhandle is an Amazon bestseller, award-winning children's book author, and the founder of the brand Texas Farm Girl. And she takes a really good picture you see with her daughter. <laughs> and she's also in studio this morning. Rebecca, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks you for having me. Days? I'm doing excellent. Okay, we're going to get straight to it right here. Okay. Uh, why did you start writing children's book, and what was the first book that you wrote? Well, um, it goes back to 2009. My husband was in an ATV accident and passed away from it, and I had a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter at the time, and I was looking for books to help find her, help her, you know, explain to her the, the loss that she was going through and to kind of help find comfort for her, um, and couldn't find it. And so after um, we kind of went through a couple of years of our own experience of going through our healing process, I came up with this book, My Daddy is in Heaven with Jesus, yeah. and um, it was a book about our story that has helped um, a number of kids uh, find comfort in a time of loss. Um, I did um, a lot of things with this book. It was an award-winning book, but ultimately I didn't want to be a grief expert anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't want that. to. <laughs> so did, that, you, did you ever believe that book would become so important to so many people? No, I did not. I thought it was going to be something just for us and then maybe for some friends. I never realized that it, how big it was going to really be. You're in Texas Farm Girl attire today because normally <laughs> you, you do the dress and hills thing. I do. But you're actually dressing the part because Texas Farm Girl is you. Yes. How deep can this series go and how long can it go, do you think? Well, Texas Farm Girl is what uh, came, came uh, about after My Daddy's in Heaven with Jesus because that's what I've been doing all my life is farming. Mm -hmm. And um, so I came up with um, these Texas Farm Girl books to help educate kids uh, about farming as well as teach life lessons um, through them and um, it's been way more popular than I thought it would be um, but it's been really exciting because kids get you know it, I think this could go really really deep because there's a lot of opportunity here and a lot of opportunities to teach our children today about food and where it comes from and, mm -hmm. and understanding the farm more. In about 15 seconds here because there is so much bad going on in the world right now how can Texas Farm Girl relate worldwide? and then break it down locally. Sure, well, you know, there's a lot of evil in this world and we see it on TV every single day. And, um, you know, what's going on in Paris right now is totally horrifying and something that um, is, is just, just, just hard. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it comes back to the basics as parents. And as parents, we have to um, teach our kids the right values to carry forward in life. And, um, you know, it's not the, the schools, it's not the, our government, it's not, um, the TV that's going mm -hmm. to teach our kids all these values. It's us as parents. And by creating Texas Farm Girl, Texas Farm Girl Reap What You Sow, which came out this year, is going to use is a, is a great tool for parents to use to teach their kids that the decisions that they make today affect their future tomorrow. How do we follow you? TexasFarmGirl.com. Pretty simple. Rebecca, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Sunray, she's from Technically, if you want to know at home. Stick around. We have so much more of Midday still to come.